So um, I, um, I I say, well, I mean, there's there's definitely a ghost. Um, uh, my my friend <coughs> we, here. We all fought it. Yeah, my my friend here nearly died. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Mm. Just kind of wave sheepishly. Like. Yeah. Show him your wounds. Oh, wait. <laughs> and he signs the letter, starts folding it up, and maybe there was a ghost, maybe there wasn't. What you have done seemed seems to be very effective. Um, were you at Lance Rock yesterday? No. Um, we we weren't. We actually, like, it was something we wanted to go to, but we, we had to rest after our encounter. Um, I, I, I took, um, a, a grievous wound as well. Um, it, it was all like ghostly damage. So I haven't got any marks on me, but, um, we, we, we had to rest up good. Um, hence why we, we came back so exhausted. Um, when, when the innkeeper, um, was rushing after my friend here, Neroli. Um, Lance Rock is when we were planning on visiting um, soon, though. And we had only realized that we hadn't realized how far Lance Rock was away from here. And when we all awoke, it was a little too late to make the journey of about 10 miles. So we figured we might learn some more information in the Helmet High Sun. Oh yeah, but better safe than sorry and rest up a little and he rubs rubs the, the, the um uh, tiredness out of his eyes. Um it's good you're around here. You seem to be keeping everything in check I can deal with. I mean I have red luck itself under control, but the surrounding areas really worry me currently. There's a, there's been a lot going on and maybe you can deal with it. What do you mean a lot going on? Um is there other stuff? going on beyond the cultists yeah that that worries me mostly i have just since well the summer hills never were the the most um calm area i guess there's always been some sayings from from travelers and others what they've seen on their travels and some some talk about dug up graves or what we now have heard from from lance rock and with the cultists now in town as well, I worry about red luck, but um, you seem, you really seem to get, get things moving along. And I hope once you've been at Lance Rock, we, we can put a rest to all of this. Well, it's um, definitely something we'd like to check out. Yep. Um, and I ask him, by the way, if he's heard of uh, maybe a halfling troublemaker. Uh, I'm speaking about. I'm talking about the one we saw at the inn. Oh, maybe... you mean Stentor? Yeah, Stentor is known for throwing a few punches at night when he's when he's drunk a little. He's um, he's a rough guy. I don't know what's wrong with him, but don't take what he says to heart. Well, I don't think he'll be bothered. <laughs> I remember us that sometime soon. No, <laughs> oh. no, he definitely won't. Great, good, very good. Oh, it's good you you shut him down. Maybe he learned from that. Yeah, we definitely did so. that. Um. Hmm. Oh, wait, so, the... so quick question: yeah. Why would a barmaid go out twelve miles to pick mushrooms when there are some that are fairly nearby that don't seem to be as difficult to get? I would have to ask her. Maybe she went on a hike. I didn't think ever, I, I never heard anything bad about her and didn't think it was troublesome. Okay. Thank you. Maybe we should go check that out. Um, oh, by the way, just before I, I turn off, um, I kind of spin back. Oh, by the way, um, does the name Lorak mean and anything to you? Lorak, Lorak. Mm. Was he a traveler, a merchant maybe? It's just no, the name I, I heard. I, 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 oh, I see. I, I go through my, my notes when I have some time, but uh, it doesn't, doesn't ring a bell on the top of my head. Uh, well, well, we'd appreciate any inputs you could give us. Thanks for your yes, time. Yes, absolutely. And then I, I, I walk out. 
Well, I do the same after thanking him. Yep. I give I give him a nod. Thank you for your time and leave. And as you as you leave uh, the area around the butcher, um, next to it you find another poultry actually right on the on the crossroads at the corner of the one of the crossroads. And there's a chicken and... walking down the street and a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it gets a, a javelin. Where... That... No, without a head, without. No. A head. <laughs> um... Is is this just a case that the entire city is just a mirror itself? Like you've got no, a good. quarry on one end of town, a quarry on another, poultry on one side, <laughs> poultry on another. Well, the poultry, the both of the poultry are just basically just the the butchers <clears throat> between them and and the head office of one of the quarries. So they are pretty much next to each other. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. And on the other side of the street from the poultry would be a. Uh, uh, woods woodwork, I think. Okay, yeah, well, it's um, a woodworking place. Okay, and the, the thing I I want to do right now is um talk to the woman who picked the mushrooms. Yeah, uh, that would be uh, Kalisa, the 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 barmaid of the swinging sword. Cool. Um, so I um, I I start heading. Back to the swinging sword. Swinging right. my glaive around yep. on my back. I'll follow as well. And everyone uh, follows uh, the, yeah. the I glaive. Up into what's the name of the the pu the pub across the street? The the helmet. Helmet high sun. Helmet high sun. Yeah, I want to pop in there and just like hang out in there and listen to conversations. Uh, I think it would pretty much Is be it closed. Open? Okay. Yeah, in the morning it still would be closed since nobody okay. is. It's a den of vice. What's a den of vice? A den of vice. A place where let's oh, vice. Like, yeah, like bad yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Right, I see. Vices and virtues. Yeah, and once. <laughs> Thank you. And <laughs> um, once you've uh, been back at the swinging sword and been there for like half an hour, Kalesa pops in as well. Um, sorry, I'm I'm uh, a little late today, but uh, here I am. What's what's happening? I kind of start well, like, like, kind of looking at her intently and like, kind of walking around her a bit. And she gets, with which each step, step you take, she gets a little bit smaller. Well, <laughs> we were wondering why you would go ten to twelve miles to pick mushrooms when there are some that are perfectly fine in the nearer region. Well, Landstruck is just such a remarkable place. I mean, I've been here since my childhood and back then the, the place was wonderful so I went for a hike and once I noticed the strange things I immediately left again okay uh, is there a skill for like detecting if someone's lying yeah it's inside <sighs> why can I try well I can sure. do that I, I think we, we'll probably all want to try we all roll inside Oh, I didn't do too bad, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> two ones in it. <laughs> and yeah, Clemo... Like, Clemo's like, no, no, she's Clemo's... definitely telling the truth. Definitely. I'm I full of insight. Believe her. She likes mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> she likes mushrooms. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I, I've heard many stories yeah. about <laughs> mushrooms around this particular place. I've even got a book about it here. <laughs> Uh, Clemo is for a second lost in the mind of a frog, and <laughs> sense of, of of human speech. He can't can't just no what. And the, the others are pretty fries. sure that that um, Kalesa, who's always seemed like a genuine person, is telling the truth as well right now. Mm -hmm. Especially since she's she's being surrounded by a woman with an even bigger glaive. <laughs> I think she speaks the truth. <laughs> you have no clue what she just said. <laughs> <laughs> what about the others of us? Do we think she's yeah, lying? Yeah, Kiatna, uh, Akano and, and Neroli, no, you're all pretty sure she's, she's uh, telling the truth, absolutely. All right, okay. I, I'm still kind of pacing around her a bit. So. 
I'm still feeling a bit suspicious. You can <laughs> roll intimidation as well if you want to. I, I will definitely want to do that. Yeah, and you absolutely notice how with each step and, and each sound your glaive <laughs> makes or you make as your boots uh, pump onto the ground, she she puts her, puts her uh, shoulders up a little in the defensive pose and gets smaller and curls up a little. Um, did, did, did I say anything wrong yesterday? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We were, we were just curious. We... Had a little explore of the area and found some mushrooms and just thought it was curious as all. Oh, yeah, yeah, sh sure, but uh, I, I took a hike, it was a day off, and I, di I didn't mean anything to do anything bad, I'm sorry, I won't go there anymore. A day off? <laughs> I, I, but it's four I, days I walk, kind, you said. That's... I kind of grab Ketna's legs and say, that's enough. Um... I, I kind of like shake my leg. Stop humping my leg. <laughs> <laughs> I um I, I I pull my um my axe out uh, my one well, my hand axe is from the same side and just kind of like bop you on the nose with with um the side of the blade. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, four four days travel. It's ten miles. If you need okay, four yeah. days for that, I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> very short legs. It's you just crawl for 10 miles. Yeah. <laughs> well, we apologize for causing you any discomfort. We just wanted to make sure a few flat facts were 100% clear because we don't have all that much information to go on, so we're trying to get as much as we can before setting off on our journey. Yes, I, I absolutely understand. Um, but you can see Lance Rock pretty much from... from here on out from from the crossroads so you you i think you'll you'll manage to find it yeah i believe it should be easy enough to find i um i sit down right. on the um the nearest bar stool looking at her um and i say um what other um interesting features are there at the nearby area Kind of just try to well, diffuse Lan the situation a bit. Uh, well, Landstrock is is like in in the midst of a pretty sparse region. There aren't so many trees around it, and and I, I've noticed I didn't hear a lot of animals when I when I got closer. And as I said, that once was a good region for picking up some mushrooms, but I I wouldn't take any from from there now. Um, when was the last it's, time it's you visited beautiful. there after um, four days ago? <clears throat> you mean, bef what? Like, it must have been three weeks? Were there mushrooms happily but, growing then? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I I, I was there and, and collected some, so must, something must have happened in the last few weeks. Interesting, interesting. Well then. It seems like we have something to investigate. Indeed we do. <laughs> and it's it's a beautiful lookout as well, Lance Rock. Oh, maybe we'll if pack you climb a on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, prepare, I'll, I'll prepare something and she hurries off into the kitchen. <laughs> oh, what a cutie. Uh, I think have we still a, not had I, to use a day's I ration wanted to ask her something. Say again, uh, when she comes back. Free said something. Yeah, I, did yeah I wanted to ask her something, but I'm too small to capture. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, sure. Do, did you want to to grab her or say something? Start uh, I wanted like to ask her. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask her too about the black earth or new plague or disease something, since she said uh, in that in in Lance Rock, uh, there are flowers, there are dead flowers. Maybe it was because of the plague or something. Oh, no. And and she turns around on her heel and looks at you. Well, isn't all Earth kind of black? <laughs> well, that, that's deep. That's a very good point. <laughs> I am 14 and this is deep. Or is it, I am 12 and this is deep. <laughs> I'm 12 and what is this? 12. Uh, uh, and, and she uh, rushes off into the kitchen. Cool, I'm, I'm just going to sit at the bar waiting. More, more happy... More happy than scared that she now has to do something and doesn't have to be interrogated anymore. 
<laughs> I just, uh, whilst waiting for her to come back, I just start fiddling with my loot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she she has a little basket prepared and puts it into Roly's hands and rushes Aww. off again. It's because yeah. you're the least intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> I just stand uh, quietly, like I have zero. Uh, am I intimidating? I you, you hunt a leg. And you are a frog. I didn't. I just. <laughs> <laughs> um, before she oh, she runs sake. off, I I say thanks for the, the food, and I um I'm gonna put down um four coppers on the uh again the bar. Yeah, that doesn't pay for it, doesn't it? What do you reckon, guys? Four gold. I doubt it, it should, would. No. It should pretty much. I yeah. think. I don't forget everything is really cheap except like actual items <laughs> and horses. <laughs> um, and before she runs off, I I say, oh hey um. Does the name Larak mean anything to you? And half she during the sentence she half vanishes into the kitchen again. Never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> Can I check if Well, she's it lying? seems like she doesn't want to speak to us anymore. Can I just quickly do an um, insight check she's to see if she's of. lying? Yep. I have no reason to not believe her, so I'm not going to bother. But sure. that nothing she's telling I'm the truth. I'm 100% sure she tells the truth, so I can. Well, no, I'm 100% sure she likes mushrooms, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mushroom, mushroom. I, I don't, I badger, don't trust badger, anyone. Badger, 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 badger. I'm like peeking into the basket trying to see what it is she made for us. <laughs> <laughs> and once you reach Lance Rock, Neroli has eaten the whole basket. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Delicious. <laughs> Kiatla starts pacing around the early. <laughs> no, it's mine. Kiatla draws her weapons. So no. yeah. It's <laughs> full out brawl. Uh, are you on to on the way to Lansrock or Um I reckon we should probably leave that for another time. Um if there's something evil well, there then it. It, it could be that yeah, it'll take a while to go through an encounter or something. Yeah, um, just just so that I that, that I know where where you want to go for the next time. Maybe I can prepare a little. Um, I yeah. I think that's certainly where we would want to go. That's certainly where I would want to go. Um, mm -hmm. uh, beyond otherwise asking the um the quarry master about the things on the the paper we found in an offhand yeah. way. Um, oh yeah, yeah, sure. But um, yeah, I think that probably does it for now, guys. What do you reckon? Is there anything else you want yeah, to do before absolutely. we wrap up? Mm -hmm. Nope, I'm good. I'm good with my I'm good. No. <laughs> I want soup. <laughs> soup in a basket. Yeah, no, soup that's, in a that's, basket. <laughs> that's, that's. It's just it a giant today. bowl. You open it up and it's just filled with soup. <laughs> Fifteen liters. Um, <laughs> yeah, I figure out uh, regard. Regarding regarding uh, experience points, I'll try to figure something out as well. Cool. Uh, I'll write that down. Get back to you with a number. Cool. Um, why why do why do you think it's it's important to to get an actual number instead of instead of just like boop? Your, um, your no, I, I I was just curious because I think you said that oh, you were so, going right, to. Okay. Um, and so I, I just yeah, right. chasing up on it. Um, I guess. Why don't I just? Uh, Go on. Does the... yeah, I'm okay with just poop. You have another lover since it's like more yeah. fair. Sure. Yeah, I'm because cool. Because if, because otherwise it would be only the one getting kills that level up and not the others. So. I think it should yeah. be like the whole group in any case. If, yeah. if, if I think if you read the monster manual, it would probably have the experience amounts for each monster. Yeah, or I, I, I was going to mention that. There. It's probably all in there. It, abs it absolutely has, yeah. yeah. Read the manual. Get the spoilers. Learn what we're going to fight. Yeah, just, just <laughs> Learn how to fight it. Learn its weakness and if abuse I, it. <laughs> if I really wanted um, spoils, I could just like find the, um, read, the campaign read the guide. Adventure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you could. Cool. Well, if you want to know who Larak is, read the adventure. <laughs> yeah. If, if you want to see who the BBEG is, read the adventure. What is... Yeah, what I mean, is Big, Big bad evil what guy. Is that? Okay. Like the, the, oh, main, the main the main antagonist. 
which would probably be the what's the name of this campaign again? Elemental um, evil, temple of elemental something evil. evil. Yeah, the primary oh. antagonist is the temple. <laughs> well, actually, the name of the book is Princess of the Apocalypse. There, that's the main antagonist. There, we know her name. Spoils. <laughs> spoils. Spoiled. Yeah. Spoils. Spoils. You've been spoiled. Spoils of war. Okay. So yeah, that wraps it up for today. Next time we'll move uh, to Lance Rock and more interrogation of poor people working in a quarry. <laughs> poor people. Yeah. It's a lookout so we can push Clem off a cliff. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> No. Let's see I'll protect bounces. you, frog friend. <laughs> Kiatla kind of like Thank turns him. around towards the cannon and just kind of like grins and like nods her head a bit. Like, I like his name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, Hoto is for shit. How do what, sorry? I'm, I'm, I'm just figuring out how tall is for shit. Oh, okay. Four feet is it's like short. 120, yeah. 130. Yeah, 120. 3.3 3 feet. I was, wonder, is... I was wondering if like, I could be on someone's shoulder, but I think I'm too, I'm too tall. <laughs> no, 3.3 no, 3 feet is um, one meter. Um, okay. Or 10, 10 feet is three meters. Um, Who remembers those those meter sticks where it's like a wheel on the end of a stick and every time it reaches... Oh, a trundle a wheel? wheel. ...thing where it clicks. Yeah. Yeah. Or, trundle wheel. It's just click... And then you just run, it's like click, 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 click. click, click. Yeah. Hey, great. Yep. Bad, uh, mm -hmm. Well, memories <laughs> from the wheel aside, um, let's wrap it up. Um, does anyone want to shout out to anything? Um, plug any of their like Twitter handles or anything like that? Shout out to my mm. homegirl, the Queen. Just hit 90. Wish her a happy B day for me. <laughs> 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 yeah, right. Since FNAP pushed us to go live, I want to tell you, uh, the FNAP has... The FNAP. The Queen FNAP. Has, opened, has opened a position. She's, she's looking for a social media manager. Maybe, I'm going to do maybe it. Some, What's, maybe what? someone out there. Who? What? Who? The Queen. Mm. It's the social media manager. Oh. She's opened a position. Handle the Queen's Twitter account. Yeah, and Snapchat. Yeah, and Queen is stuff. looking for a new social media manager. Uh, as Queen Elizabeth II celebrates tonight, if you have the new chance to become part of a loyal team, the British monarchy is looking for a new social media manager, meaning it's somebody's job to post Her Majesty's candid behind-the-scenes shots on Twitter. Yeah. The official title of the position is Head of Digital Entertainment. It's based in Buckingham Palace, and it offers a competitive salary. If successful, the lucky candidate will be in charge of increasing the Queen's presence on social media. Guys, I'm moving 50, to England and I'm going to live at the Queen. 50k 50 pound a year and 30, 33 vacation days. I'll take it. I'm surprised it's actually paying that much. Um, the, London's naked restaurant. The Buckingham what? Palace is, is famous for not paying the staff very much at all, so I'm surprised they're actually paying that much. Um, a 50k pound isn't that much. <laughs> Uh, it's a lot in Canadian dollars. It's some, um, yeah, but it's not a lot in London. <laughs> um, no, it's um, oh. it's that's a lot. Um, it's twice the national average or thereabouts. So, Queen pays staff an average of forty-four thousand seven pounds. Huh. Oh, Maybe out okay. of information. <laughs> Queen staff could speak for the first time as Windsor Castle. That was when was this happened? Uh, Last most year. Um, Last year, vote? Queen staff could strike for the first time as Windsor Castle workers vote on action over appalling low pay. Staff working at Windsor Castle are paid below the living wage and start on as little as 14400 per year. Oh, yeah, but that Windsor Castle, that's not Buckingham Palace. Windsor Castle mm. isn't as posh. I want to be the new posh cast of, of Twitch. <laughs> what are you, what are you what, doing? What are you, what are you doing? Trying I'm trying to get the pooper into into. Oh, a popper! Pooper. Look at him. Just to pick it oh, up he and looks bring mad. it over. He's like, why? He's suspicious of cameras. <laughs> why have you awoken me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at his little ear. I love him. Okay, I I I just keep it here while while Fnap goes and shuts us down. Yep, yeah, just to sign off. off. Yep, yep. So um, <laughs> I've been joined by um, uh, uh Snap. I've been joined Hello, by Free. Bye bye. Been joined by Lux, and I've been joined by the, the owner of um, that dog, um, Autumn. Oh. Um, I, I, oh, I, that <laughs> <noise>. <laughs> I 
I, I've been Fneb. Um, you can find me on um, uh, twitter.com slash Bethany Does or just youtube.com slash Fneb, <laughs> twitch.tv slash Fneb. Um, all of this will be up on there. Um, otherwise, hopefully see you around some other time. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.